kind of wallow in it, wallow in our misery, having four season-ending surgeries, or we can next man up and coach them real hard, and, you know, uh, it's a good opportunity for some other guys to step up, and that's how we got to look at it. Are they responding? To Absolutely. Chances? Yeah, they're, they're responding, yep. You know, we're, we're never going to have any excuses in our room. It's reality, what's happened, but uh, we can't, no one cares. Iowa doesn't care. <laughs> no, fans don't care. You know, we know what the deal is. We know what the problems are. We're just going to have the find some solutions and, and like I said next guy up um, Vic Wharton's doing a heck of a job having some great practices I'm really proud of him Ryan Jenkins is doing really well um, he's stepping up they're, they're getting better at the right times so it's it's okay it's gonna it's gonna be okay how disappointing is it not to have room out there as well as you close the season uh, it's very disappointing I feel sorry for him you know I mean here's a guy that's busted his tail and gotten better all season long and done everything I asked of him um, he just doesn't say a word and works his works his tail off, and you know the game gets taken away here at the end, the one that he'd love to play in first bowl game. Um, but again, we're going to step up. We're going to try and go win this game for him. He's what? definitely out for this game. Yeah. What, what did happen? I guess when I was practicing. I, I just had a knee injury. Yeah, it looks like a patella. So that's about all I know right now. But it's something that'll, it'll keep him off for this game. Mm -hmm. So How does that a microcosm of the whole season, what it's been like for y'all? I mean, I know you said no excuses, but there's been guy after guy after guy, at least lineup even more, more quests for, you know, for several games now. I mean, how tough has the season been from that perspective? Yeah, four, four uh, ending, season ending uh, injuries. Yeah, that's really tough. But that's why we recruit. That's why we have a little bit of depth. Um, we're definitely thinner now. There's no question about it. But we have enough good players to go play a game. And, and uh, like I said, Vic Warden, Ryan Jenkins, Josh Malone, uh, Pig Howard, Jacob Carter, um, Jonathan Johnson, you know, um, all those guys are going to step up and do a fine job. So something that happens that happened during Sunday's practice or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who kind of goes where in the rotation, I guess? Does, it, does Vic step into that spot and does, how does the shuffling kind of go? It, it, you know, it's a day-by-day -day process. I mean, when we played Vanderbilt and Kroom was limited a little bit there with a, you know, in a muscle injury, uh, it was Vic and, and Ryan took that spot. So we'll see how it goes. We got a lot of practices to kind of figure it out. Um, move guys in the right spots. Good thing about bowl practices is, you know, we can scheme up certain things to get guys where we want them because we got a little bit more time than we would on a regular game week. So we don't have to necessarily have to pencil a guy. You're going to play this the whole game. We can move guys around. We have time to, to get them right that way. With the, what's the biggest difference you see in him now versus maybe big season early in the season when he was first getting here? You know what? He had a great training camp. Um, and kind of just, you know, he wasn't quite there yet the first probably quarter half of the season. Uh, some guys playing better than him. Nothing he did wrong. Just kind of hit a little wall there. Wasn't very consistent. Always worked hard. Always tough. I love coaching him. Um, and, but he, that's what happens. You just come day after day after day and bring the same mentality. All of a sudden, your, your time comes. You get better and better and better. And his time is here. He's taking advantage of it, too. He, he, uh, he played well versus Vanderbilt. Um, he's had a good uh, couple practices already, so I'm pleased with, with Vic. He'll, he'll do a great job. You've coached in the Big Ten. How accurate is the perception that it's a power league, whereas the SEC is more of a speed league? You know, I, I don't know. I think they're both power leagues. <laughs> there might be some more speed in the SEC overall, uh, but there's speed in, in all the Big Five conferences. Um, but certainly there's some, some different speed in the South, but, you know, nothing to where you can point it out for sure it just might you know maybe some returners and things like that once in a while but you know i was a big physical team and they can run in the back end now i'm just going to tell you their, their corners will run as, as good as any team in the sec will see um, and they're big and physical uh, their two safeties tackle as, as well as anybody we faced um, so you know i don't know if that that stigma holds true for Iowa, I know that. <laughs> what about uh, having a month to prepare? Does that maybe help the offenses a little bit because they can 